love the energy. I love the fight. This is Trailblazer Football and the Paul Peterson Coaches Show. Love what we're doing. And hi there again, everybody. Welcome to Utah Tech Football, the Paul Peterson Coaches Show. Rod Zund, along with the head football coach for the Trailblazers, Paul Peterson. And can you believe how quickly this season oh, has gosh, gone by? This, this is, is our insane. final Paul Peterson Coaches Show of the year. Uh, you wrap up the season Saturday, 5 o'clock in Greater Zion Stadium against who? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> against Southern Utah, the battle for the axe. Last year you split. Uh, you, you, they got you there. You got them here. And you guys hold the axe. And, and hopefully you get to hold it, it we again. We should have brought it. After this we should have brought it. We have it down yeah. in our offices. But. Yeah. Um, you're trying to finish off the season on a good note. We yeah. uh, got back from, uh, where were we last week? Austin, Peay, <laughs> Austin Tennessee. Peay. Yeah. Uh, they were the top team in the uh, conference. They averaged over 50 points a game at home. And you held them to 30. You came up on the short end, but you got to be proud of the way you guys fought and, and the way you guys executed a lot of things. Yeah, you know, uh, when you're playing a really good team like that, they were obviously the conference champ. Um, you know, I think they play Central Arkansas for maybe a share of it, depending on what happens there. But um, good, good team. Um, it was a cool stadium. I'd never been there before. Uh, our guys, our guys played hard and, and, and played physical. Um, there's just a couple meaningful plays in the game that. Flip, that could potentially have flipped the tide for us. Yeah. Um, uh, we, we didn't score enough points. You know, we, we, we got some chances, missed a couple field goals, and had a, had a, had a chance to, uh, uh, to get up on them early, and um, yeah. we didn't take advantage of those opportunities. But. All right, let's get right to it and yeah. show you Let's what happened uh, in Clarksville, Tennessee, and your defense really, really played well. Brandy Okeke, boy, a couple of sacks. Yeah, two two really big sacks uh, for Brandy. We had five on the day, which is awesome. You can see how fired up they are. We had two interceptions, so really, really good execution uh, on defense with those guys. And then Ricky Johnson, uh, another histor historical day for him. You went right to work in the late in the first quarter. Yeah, f I, th I think he finished with 14 catches. We don't we don't know if that's a that's a school record yet. Tied a school record. Did it tie? Yeah, yeah. and and um, played 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 really well. That's Javion. We hit him in a little hole shot there and. Um, was able to get in the end zone. That was a big play for us. We needed that. Yeah, you had a 7-3 lead at that time, and uh, they were getting a little nervous. Uh, defense again, uh, Jordan Scott, he came up with an incredible toe tapper. Yeah, a really good job by the defense. Uh, forced him outside the pocket, and, and you can see him getting his feet down there. That was fun. Excited for him. You know, he's been a little banged up. Uh, we'll see him a little bit later on the show, but that was a big time play. Weren't able to convert that, missed a field goal, but then Cyrus Webster again a little bit later ties the all time sack record at Utah Tech right there. Yeah, you can't hold on to the ball very long. Uh, that was a little shout out to, to Coach Kowser there doing his, his old <laughs> celebration at SU. Final couple of minutes of the first half, Devin Perkins, he takes his turn. Yeah, they, you know what? They tried a little bit of double move on, on Devin there, and the quarterback just threw it up, and, and he makes a really big play. It was awesome. You know, you say that DBs can't catch the ball, but those are pretty two catch. nice catches. Yeah. Heck yeah, we'll take, take two interceptions. All sure. right, so here you go. Um, let's keep the highlights going. Yeah. There you go. So you had a couple minutes trying to get down the field, uh, screen to Ronnie Walker, and then you go back to Ricky again. Yeah. What a day for Ricky. First down, first down there, yeah, just a little couple screens. He's so good at f have feeling whether he needs to go inside or outside on that screen. Um, so just, just trying to keep those chains moving, clock stopping, and – uh, gives us a chance. This is uh, Daniel Thomason. He'll be on the show a little bit later. Toe tapping on the sideline there, too. He had 100 yards receiving, which mm -hmm. was awesome. Um, so we're hitting a bunch of different targets on this drive. Just playing catch. Ricky takes a pound, and but yeah. he gets right back up. He does. He's been, yeah. he's been hit. He's been fresh. Uh, important play here, third and long. Kobe to both sparks. Dice for the first down. Just a little bit short, though. And that was big because you had to try a long field goal and miss it in the crosswind. Yeah, it was unfortunate. I, we had a chance for a field goal a little bit earlier too, where that wind just kind of kept it up. I thought we made it. Um, that one was that one was a chance right before half um, was cleared off. But but our guys were moving the ball well. Again, Austin P averaging 50 points a game, over 50 points a game at home this season. The score was 13 to seven. You had to feel good and said, okay, we missed some chances. Now we just got to convert on those chances. Second half, we got a chance for an upset. Yeah, I mean, we got you got to start fast, and and then we got to come out of the halftime, and we got to start fast again. You know, there's two chances to start fast in a game. Um, you know, I think at one point the game is 20 to 17 late in the third yeah. quarter there. You know, so we, we we've got a ball game. We just need to we just needed to finish. We didn't finish. Speaking of talking, uh, starting fast, uh, opening drive of the second half in the third quarter. I uh, go right back to Ricky. Why not, huh? Yeah. 
you know, he's really good in, in our offense, finding those windows, and, and uh, Kobe does a good job stepping up. We had good protection. You know, they were only rushing three, uh, but good, good hit, good tempo here. And you mentioned that Connor Brixby missed a couple of field goals in the first half. You gave him another shot at 53 yarders, and he was dynamite on yeah, that. Yeah, he lasered that. You know, he, he missed the other two with the against the wind. Yeah, right. They kept it up for him, so that one was a little bit easier, but. And here comes Cyrus. Yeah, good play action. You see that guy, you, you see him pump fake right there. He's got to let that ball go because that dude's coming. Mm-hmm. With <laughs> that, yeah, with that sack, he becomes Utah Tech's all-time sack leader. Yeah, which, which, which is great. He deserves it. I think we saw another snack, sack there by, by sniffing. Yep. Coming now, back to the screen yep. again, and, and um, see him just worming his way up there. Is that Ricky again? Looks like That's it. Ricky again, and here's yeah. Ricky again. Yeah. Get kind him. of a theme, 14 catches, you get your, uh, you know, you get your picture on TV a lot. Yeah, well, you know, you can see that. He's making dudes miss, and we got, got to find ways to get him the ball. How about this catch from Daniel Thomason? Tip drill. <laughs> yeah, you know, that's funny. They, they go and measure that. I'm glad they gave us the, the, the catch. They yeah. go and look at that, all their angles and stuff, and he came down with that ball, big-time catch. The ad lib here from Kobe. Yeah, he's got a little RPO. You need to get that, get that out a little bit sooner, but I'm uh, um, just making a play, man, and, and good things happen. You can make, some, make a play. It doesn't – Play breaks down, and you make a sh- play like that's big time. Then on the next play, Daniel Thomason, his best game in a Trailblazer uniform. Yeah, 100 yards receiving, like I said, big, big window. Does exactly what he's supposed to do uh, on, the, on, the, on the coverage that they were doing and hit him in the corner of the end zone. Big, mm-hmm. big throw, easy peasy. That cut the lead to three heading into the fourth after they came back to score 10 straight, trying to make a comeback. Thomason with a great adjustment yeah, there. Yeah, great, great catch there, big time catch. Couldn't finish the drive, but we got to give uh, a shout-out to John Sniffen. Yeah, uh, he's been playing well lately. Yeah, you know what? And, and uh, you know, we had a good team meeting and we were able to, offer, you know, give him a scholarship. He was a walk-on for us and started the game, came out with a sack. We need to reward that man. And then Will Leota, he led away with 12 tackles. He was shooting the gaps all day long. Yeah, and Will's been a little banged up, uh, you know, so really good to see him um, having fun out there and making some plays. And he didn't – we played a bunch of backers. I think we played four linebackers, so he didn't get all the reps. Yeah. And so he was very productive when he was out there. 30 to 17 was your final. Uh, Kobe finished the day 31 of 52, 376 yards, two touchdowns. Uh, Ricky Johnson, again, he tied a single game record with 14 receptions, and he becomes the third player in Utah Tech history to have over 200, uh, 2,000 yards receiving. So yeah. those are pretty incredible numbers that fun, you put fun, out. Fun, Against fun, pretty fun good term. defense, too. Yeah. It's right up there. Uh, among the top in the conference. In the conference. And it doesn't surprise me just seeing the way he's worked since I've been here. Um, one of the one of the few guys that's been here since when I first got here, first re- signing class, him and Kobe, and um, you know he does a really good job in the summertime rallying the troops, and and um, he's been a great leader for us, good captain. Yeah, and Thomas, and we talked about him quite a bit. Six receptions, first time he's uh, hit the hundred yard mark, yeah. and he had to get a little more reps because Keith Davis wasn't able to go. Yeah, we've kind of had the that. Uh, um, the two outside guys, and he was able to, to rotate. He was ready when his turn was when his turn was called. You know, I, I think he's had the potential to do that all, all season, and um, excited for him to have, to, to have, a, have a game like that, which he deserved. He's been working hard for it. Okay, we're going to have uh, three players. We get a bonus yeah. player uh, uh, this week. Uh, will join us shortly. But now as you get to rivalry week, battle for the ax with uh, Southern Utah, they come off with a big win uh, at Stephen F. Austin. They've won three in a row. They're feeling pretty good about themselves. Just like you, though, they lost some close games, and their season could have been completely different just like yours, too. Yeah, I know. Uh, you know, they're f- sitting up five and five, and four of the games that they've lost have been three points or less. And so, um, you know, the, 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 the games, some of the games weren't that close, but they, they uh, did a good job of trying to get back in the game late on a couple of those games. But it um, just shows that, uh, that they're playing a, a good brand of football. They're, they play physical. Um, and and uh, uh, Coach Fitz has done a great job uh, building that program. So it'll be it'll be a great game. How is uh, as a head coach? How do you handle this to get them not too hyped up early, too early in the week? Is there a certain uh, technique that you have? Is everything the same? Yeah. <laughs> you know, we'll, we'll meet Amari a little bit later. Yeah, we'll meet that. Guy. We'll meet that guy. <laughs> um, you know what? No, I just you know you, you want to use that emotion the the correct way, yeah. and you know you don't want to you don't want to spend it. You don't want to be like a like a, a coke bottle and shake it, and you, you lose all your fizz right away. You don't want to be able to um, make sure that you, that you're using that energy in a way that's that's positive, that's smart, and executing at a high level. We want to do that, and that's what we've been talking about this week. Uh, you're going to have some guys uh, play their final game in this stadium in a Trailblazer jersey that's been uh, with you since the beginning yeah. uh, this Saturday. That's fun. Fun, fun to see him, and it's fun to hear him too. You know, they get a chance to say like what it was and now what it is, and 
what the president of our university uh, has been able to, to build and add here has just been phenomenal for us to be able to catch up uh, very, very quickly. Um, you know, we, st we still got a lot of work to do. Um, obviously, you know, you, you kind of define yourself by your record, but I feel like we've still got uh, really good momentum, a good base, a good, good, good group yeah. of kids coming back. You know, we've got to develop uh, as quick as we can. And um, um, I'm, I'm, I'm excited for the future of our program. 15 players or so are going to make the walk and uh, yeah, graduate final, spring, uh, awesome. final time there. So it, it's kind of a sad time, but it's also a time that you can look back and say, man, these guys really brought us to where we are now and brought us through COVID, brought us through uh, the D2 to D1 transition. Yeah. yeah. You know, awesome. and they should be awesome proud of guys. that. Absolutely. And what, what it was hard, it's, 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 been, uh, it's been difficult. You know, we've, we've started uh, maybe with, with a lack of, of, of things that other teams that we play for have had for a really long time. They're established. They've, um, they've been playoff teams. We're playing yeah. a bunch of playoff teams, which is fantastic for us to see where we need to get to. Um, and, and these guys went through when it, when it was hard. We didn't have some resources that a lot of other teams have um, that, that, now, that now we're getting and we're catching up, yeah. which is fun. They've when helped look, that. When you look back at your schedule this year, uh, right now in the FCS rankings, Montana State 2, Montana State, uh, Montana 3, and then uh, Austin P 14th when you played them. Yeah. That's a pretty stiff competition for you guys to try to, uh, to, try to get over the hump on. Yeah, I mean, you know, the schedule is established for a few years now, and and um, you know, we we had the addition to the to the UAC conference with those teams that, that helped, and so we had to get rid of a couple. But when we first uh, made this jump, we didn't have a conference, yeah. and so we were just trying to get as many games as we could because we didn't know what the future held. Uh, we could have been a little bit more patient, I think, but now looking back, it's easy to say that, and so we just needed some games to play, um, knowing that that the next year um, was going to be very critical yeah. to, to to be ready for playoffs, yeah. and so. It didn't work out the way we wanted to as far as home games and away games, but we're just grateful to have 11 games. Well, things are going to get better because the UAC just announced the, uh, the conference uh, yeah. home and away games. And, you know, overall, you've got four conference home games and two non-conference home games. So you're going to have six home games next year. Which is so fun, too, right? So, um, yeah, I mean, that, that, that's huge to be able to say we're going to play here six times. Yeah. And, and two of those games, we're playing one at UNLV and one at SUU. So. Yeah. Those are pretty close, and, and um, that'll be a little bit different travel than it has been this year. Yeah. Uh, but, uh, you know, our, our, we're, always, we're always glad to, to play in front of our home crowd, for okay. sure. All right, we're going to take a break. When we come back, we will be joined by three Trailblazer players. That's when the Paul Peterson Coaches Show comes back. He's on the 30-yard line, the 20, the 10. You wouldn't want an incomplete football game. So why use a website with incomplete listings of Southern Utah properties? SouthernUtahRealEstate.com is the most complete, most accurate, and most comprehensive property search in Washington County. Because we're not focused on everything, just on the part that we like the best. Find your Southern Utah home at SouthernUtahRealEstate.com. Finley Hyundai, committed to high quality service and sales for local drivers. Stress-free car buying, guaranteed. Got a project at work or around the house? Well, think Bucks Ace Hardware. Think Bucks for all the top brands like DeWalt, Milwaukee, and Still. Plus, Bucks has the best sporting goods department. You've got to see their gun department. It's stocked with a great selection of guns and ammo and accessories. Two locations at the Dino Crossing in St. George or State Street in Hurricane. We love giving back to our community. And over the years, we have provided vehicles for families in need, supported local charities, and helped train our first responders. Dealer Collision, your place for collision repair. Local media has the biggest impact on your daily life. It's what's around you, what matters. And at Canyon Media, our goal is to deliver the very best in local entertainment, news, and media. From our award-winning radio stations like 99.9 Coney Country to Southern Utah's number one source for local news, St. George News, Canyon Media, here for you. It's any card for the win right now at Mountain America Credit Union which means it's time to score some cash. Simply tap, swipe, or click checkout with any Mountain America debit or credit card to be entered into a weekly giveaway for up to $500, now until September 30th. Visit macu.com slash any card to learn how to earn extra entries or to open a new account today. 
All right, welcome back to Utah Tech Football, the Paul Peterson Coaches Show. We are joined by three trailblazers who had a major impact in the game Saturday in Clarksville against Austin and P. One, one future trailblazer. And one future yeah. trailblazer. The legacy right there, there you go. in about Tom another uh, 18 years. <laughs> so right here is Daniel Thomason, the receiver, Jordan Scott, interception, and John Sniffen, who had a sack. And, uh, of course, Daniel, uh, first 100-yard game. Uh, six receptions. So, guys, let's uh, start with uh, Daniel and just talk about, uh, you know, your breakthrough. Keith Davis not able to play. You got a lot more reps and you took advantage of it. Just talk about the feeling out there and how you were able to be so successful. Oh, yeah, absolutely. So, um, a lot of people don't know that I served in that area, Austin P. So, I feel like oh, I on my mission, that, okay, was, uh, cool. that was where I went on my mission. So, the whole time I just felt like I didn't have any nerves. I, I was on that campus a lot. And so I just wanted to go and do everything I could to play my best against Austin P. and then obviously have the um, opportunity to go ball and show the coaches what I can do. Huh. That's cool. That's yeah. a fun fact. I didn't know that. I didn't either. The things you learn on this show. Yeah. All right, Jordan Scott, um, second career interception. Uh, and that was a toe tapper. And they say DBs can't catch. And I've heard it from coaches. I didn't say that. <laughs> <laughs> just talk about the, that play and that situation. I had a good rush. I just was in the spot to make a play. So and, 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 you, and you came <laughs> out showing the ball and said, Coach, I got it. Just Who are you trying to tell that you had the ball? The refs. The refs? <laughs> the refs let them know. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, let's see. Do we have that play, uh, Marcus, uh, on the, the, the interception, Scott? Uh, interception, if we can run that. Let's see that. that. That's worth seeing again. Here you go. Okay, there's the one angle right there. Okay. And then here he comes. Here he comes. Look at, I got it. I got it. They didn't have to review it. They got you. Yeah. Do we still have that ball? Uh, yeah. <laughs> no, no, we gave it back to you. And then here's this angle too, and we slow it down. Okay, this is impressive. Do you practice that? Yeah, we do actually every day. Yeah? Yep. That's EDDs, everyday drills. Every day. Yeah. Okay, maybe we ought to uh, start by saying that who you have in your lap right there. This is my son, Amari. He's eight months old. And that's, that's the big, biggest, biggest blessing of my life right now. Yeah. yeah that's yeah. a big dog yawn, huh? And, <laughs> and he, he goes to practice with you because mom has, uh, class. you know, class that yeah. she's got to go to as well. Yes, sir. Yeah, yeah exactly. Buddy. All right, John Snippen over here. Uh, you picked up a, uh, a sack. Just talk about uh, your game and, and, and what was going on there. Yeah, um, pretty much, you know, the next man up uh, mentality I had going into it, you know, one of the – Max Christensen, he went down. He was uh, beat up a little, but, you know, it was just another opportunity I can go out there and kind of show what this season was kind of leading up to. Yeah. Um, and John, let me, hang on, let me tell oh, you. Okay, it's, go ahead. It's go been ahead. really fun to watch uh, okay. John, too, because, um, you know, he gets here right before fall camp, um, and he's just progressively gotten better and better and better and better. And, and then to, to be able to start and have the game he did, just it's kind of icing on the cake. Fun for him. Fun yeah. for me as a coach to see something like that happen. And yeah. if we got if we got all, our whole team doing that, we're 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 sitting at a good spot. Yeah. And, and uh, John or Jordan, uh, Austin Pete averaging over 50 points a game. And you know I I say that a number of times, but that's pretty impressive. And you guys held him to three first quarter points, 30 overall. Just was that something you guys talked about and and took that on yourselves as a challenge, saying hey we got to take down the the, the top ranked offense in the conference. <laughs> um, yeah, um, you know, just going into the game, we just wanted to go back to the fundamentals and um, just go out there and keep them under the 50 points. And I think we went out there and yeah. we held them to a certain uh, standard. Yeah. And, and, and Jordan, with, with an eight-month-old son, you have a lot of time that you're responsible for on the football field, but obviously this is the most important thing. How have you been able to jug, juggle that uh, and all the responsibilities with, with an eight-month-old? Eight uh, I mean, it's tough, but, you know, his mom makes it easy. He's a good kid. We got coaches that care about us outside of football, so it's a really easy thing to do when you got people around you that care. Yeah. And you take Amari to team meetings when you have to, when you have, when mom's got class, right? And, and to practice and all that. And coaches, sometimes are babysitters, right? Yep. Yeah. We, we, he only lets, uh, Jordan's got his, his favorite people that he lets Amari <laughs> hold. So I haven't been able to hold Amari yet. You know, I, I'm not in the circle of trust yet. There's only a couple, uh, but he, he, he's fun, man. It, it, it kind of puts a 
different thing in perspective, right? You know, I, yeah. got, I got five boys at home and, and they mean everything to me. And these guys got come from great families. And so that, I mean, that's what matters. We're playing ball and having fun, yeah. but he's, he's got a responsibility there that's, that's a little bit more important than football. So you haven't been able to hold him yet? No, no, I'm, like I said, I'm not in the circle of trust. Yeah, yeah. And, 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 oh, oh, here, oh, here we go. Watch him start crying. Oh, like, hey, dude, it's okay. Uh-oh, look at that face. Hi. Yeah. <laughs> I think that's a frown or a scowl No, he hasn't figured out what he, if he likes me or not, hey, huh? Hey, look over, look over here. Yeah, Where's yeah, the camera? Where's look the over camera? there. Which one? Which see, camera? That one? didn't see that one. Hey, ah. look over here. He got some teeth in there, too, huh? Have you, have you put a little Hi. football in his hand? And, and? Righty or lefty? Righty. <laughs> Righty, yeah. He's got okay. good hands. He can play receiver then. Oh, yeah. Can play huh. you, want. <laughs> you go back to dad, yeah. huh? All right. Okay, let's uh, learn a little bit more <laughs> about awesome. you guys. John, over there, talk about uh, where you're from. John Sniffen, defensive lineman. Where you're from, why you decided to come to Utah Tech? Yeah, uh, so I was born and raised in a small town, uh, Wamanalo in Hawaii. Um, you know, great. I grew up pretty good, you know, great parents, great, um, great family. Um, I'm a JUCO guy, so straight out of high school, I went straight to JUCO. Um, it was tough. I was in Cali, you know, in Cali, they don't give up. Uh, the living there is rough for JUCO guys. So I went there for, um, I was there for two years. Um, COVID came, so that was, uh, I went back home. And I went to work, you know, had a kind of didn't know what life was looking like at the time. Mm -hmm. And then, you know, I had a season after that at my JUCO, had a great season there. Um, you know, I got picked up by Fresno State and I went over there. And, you know, I kind of wanted a bigger role. So I redshirted that year last year. And, you know, now with the portal nowadays, I kind of rushed into it and I hit the portal. And yeah, it was it was it was a roller coaster because you know nothing was guaranteed at the time. So yeah. you know I was bouncing around trying to find a school to go to, but it kind of ticked down to the last second, and I, I kind of didn't have anywhere to go. And then I got contact with um, the staff over here, and I was blessed enough to have the opportunity to come over here and walk on and try and earn a scholarship. So yeah, you got it. yeah you talk got it. about that, coach. Yeah, well, uh, again, like. I don't know how many guys I've given scholarships to that have been been previous walk-ons. We yeah. obviously knew, knew knew his story going in and coming from uh, Fresno State just at the time. You know, you don't know what your numbers look like uh -huh. and scholarships. But if you if you got a guy coming in and that's hungry that wants to prove that they can play, and 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 then they get in the starting rotation or, and and are able to help us or make mm -hmm. the travel squad. I mean, we we love giving scholarship, yeah. right? I mean, that's what it's all about. You want to earn. Uh, what you get, and he's yeah. he sniffs done it, man. It's awesome. And when did you receive your scholarship? Just this past um, Monday during Monday. the team meeting. Yeah. Yesterday. So, yeah, grateful. So that's yeah. awesome. We didn't want to wait. Okay, so uh, let's go back in time now. Uh, Marcus, if we can bring up uh, John Sniffin's oh, yeah. uh, younger days. Right here, <laughs> this is a favorite part of the shows. <laughs> yep. ah. There you go. <laughs> he made that the face flex. after the sack. Dude, that was <laughs> yep. the same pose. Dude. That was the same yeah. yep. pose after the sack. So here we go. Another one. Oh. Okay, now that one. <laughs> you just so good. Yeah. yeah, there we go. All right, good stuff. All right, Daniel, yeah. let's talk about you. Where, uh, where did you grow up? A little bit about you and your family. Um, I grew up in Sandy, Utah with my wonderful mom. I grew up with a single mom my whole life, and she's just the biggest blessing I've ever had. She took care of me, gave me the opportunity to play football, and she just gave me the best life ever. I come from a uh, seven sibling home, so she's had a, obviously a big role, and she's the big role in my life. She just showed me how to be a good person, honestly, and um, yeah, was a- And where do you fit in those seven? In the seven, I'm in the middle. Okay. So. Sisters, brothers? Three older, four other. I have two brothers, and then I was at Spike Five Sisters. Oh, wow. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Well, now it's your turn to go back in time and uh, check out the kid picks. Nice. <laughs> there you go. That's the same green he has right now. <laughs> that's, that's, you're thinking about your 100 yard receiving day right there, aren't you? Yeah. yeah. Uh, how old are you right there? I have no idea. Three or four? Yeah. Yeah. So. That's fun. Okay, so we don't have uh, Jordan Scott uh, kid picks, but all I have to do is look at Amari, right? Yeah, there you go. Are, are, is, is it, does, does he look like you as a baby? Uh, you know, he has flashes. He looked like his mom, though. 
does. <laughs> <laughs> as you can see, it was a good mix. All right, uh, Jordan Scott, DB, uh, tell us a little bit about yourself, where you're from, and about uh, your family. I'm from Southern California. I got three siblings, and you know, I don't, I don't really got too much to say. I got a beautiful fiance at the house, beautiful son. Thankful to be here. Okay, once football uh, is no longer an option, John, what do you want to do when you have to grow up? Um, you know, uh, want to go in, um, in the business world, you know, I'm, uh, go and be the head honcho of whatever it may be. <laughs> head honcho, you like hey, you that? Go, you go, go back to Hawaii and get a boat. I'll come be your boat captain. <laughs> Sound good? Yeah. We can fish. All right. Get some taco. Huh? Oh, yeah. yeah. Big alua. A big alua. <laughs> Call it Bubba Pete? <laughs> yeah, what uh, Jordan, what do you want to do when uh, football is no longer an option? Um, I'm really interested in real estate, uh, finance. I just want to be able to provide mm -hmm. for my family. Daniel? I just want to go into the business world. I haven't really thought too much on it. Obviously, I'm just studying business right now, so figure out as I go. Uh, coach, you know, no one has, that we've had on this year says, I want to be a coach. I want to be <laughs> no. like Coach Peterson. Well, see, I, I was a business. I was a business major. Oh, okay. Yeah, now I'm coaching ball. Okay. Just can't get out of your – All right. Out of you. All right, we are going to take a break. When we come back, we'll talk briefly about uh, that other team that's coming into town uh, this Saturday and uh, get some final thoughts on our final uh, Paul Peterson Coaches yeah, Show. That's when we come back. Is this you have a He's on the 30-yard line. The 20, the 10 – you wouldn't want an incomplete football game. So why use a website with incomplete listings of Southern Utah properties? SouthernUtahRealEstate.com is the most complete, most accurate, and most comprehensive property search in Washington County. Because we're not focused on everything, just on the part that we like the best. Find your Southern Utah home at SouthernUtahRealEstate.com. Finley Hyundai, committed to high-quality service and sales for local drivers. Stress-free car buying, guaranteed. Got a project at work or around the house? Well, think Bucks Ace Hardware. Think Bucks for all the top brands like DeWalt, Milwaukee, and Still. Plus, Bucks has the best sporting goods department. You've got to see their gun department. It's stocked with a great selection of guns and ammo and accessories. Two locations at the Dino Crossing in St. George or State Street in Hurricane. We love giving back to our community. And over the years, we have provided vehicles for families in need, supported local charities, and helped train our first responders. Dealer Collision, your place for collision repair. Local media has the biggest impact on your daily life. It's what's around you, what matters. And at Canyon Media, our goal is to deliver the very best in local entertainment, news, and media. From our award-winning radio stations like 99.9 .9 Coney Country to Southern Utah's number one source for local news, St. George News, Canyon Media, here for you. It's any card for the win right now at Mountain America Credit Union which means it's time to score some cash. Simply tap, swipe, or click checkout with any Mountain America debit or credit card to be entered into a weekly giveaway for up to $500, now until September 30th. Visit macu.com slash any card to learn how to earn extra entries or to open a new account today. Paul Peterson Coaches Show. We have a couple of minutes here, and then the season of the Paul Peterson Coaches Show will be finished. And you know what? Just like a football team, you need a team here to put these uh, shows together. So we, the folks that are here, um, our students over there, wave hi. They, uh, the students, they're the camera operators in production to help get this uh, show on uh, YouTube. Uh, and then also you got Ben and Sheldon here, the equipment managers. They're big for you guys, right? Mm -hmm. so, yeah. And they bring in equipment for the displays and all that. And then we have our uh, uh, interns here uh, from Utah Tech Communications, Spencer, Spencer, Daytona, and Jackson. They're the ones that put the uh, sounds of the game together and do a lot of editing for our pregame show and the coaches show. So they're uh, a learning and they've been a big help to me. And then right here is Carissa. She is the uh, director of football operations, and without her, he wouldn't exist, and they wouldn't be able to do what they do, right? No. 
I think we'd be okay. <laughs> but hey, guys, thank you for uh, helping us out. Uh, this is a new venture for us uh, uh, with the Paul fun. Peterson Coaches Show. So thank you. You made it uh, very successful, all, every one of you. You had a big impact. Thank you. That's from me to you. Now, you can stay there. You got a team coming in Saturday. Yeah. Five o'clock kickoff, we Southern Utah, them. battle for the axe to wrap up the season. Final yeah, thoughts. We hate them. Okay. What about you? Hate them. Okay. Thank what you. about you? Same as them. We hate them. Going down. Yep. <laughs> hey, what about you guys? Yeah, I guess I did. Yeah. Yeah, Yeah, there you go. <laughs> All right. Uh, five o'clock kickoff. Four o'clock is pregame here on Trailblazer Sports Vision and the Fan Sports Radio Network. And then, uh, you know, we've got the axe. Might as well keep, keep it, it here. Keep it. Yeah. You know, don't want to head it, head yeah. it up north. They'll ruin it. So, yeah. Okay. All right. Guys, thanks. Coach, awesome. thanks for doing this. Appreciate you. Guys, thanks for coming in. All of you, thank you. You made this a success for the first year. All right, thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed the shows, especially the kid picks. Hey, Amari. Amari, wait bye. Say bye. Wait bye. 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 See you Saturday. <laughs> oh, yeah. See you Saturday. Good night. Right on.